Okay, today I'm going to review Algorithms to Live By, The Computer Science of Human Decisions by Brian Christian and Tom Griffiths. So first of all, I've got a new microphone. For some reason, when I recorded this previously on my old microphone, I got some weird ringing sounds, so if this sounds strange, I apologize. This is the first time I've used this microphone, at least recording in this setup, so... Back to the book, though. Uh, this book, it's a really interesting book. The authors have a pretty interesting background as well. Brian Christian wrote The Most Human Human. He's an author. He writes a lot on science. He's been on a lot of you know popular lists. So he's uh, not super huge, but he, he's big in like science writing. And Tom Griffiths is a professor of psychology and cognitive science at Berkeley. So he's kind of the academic science guy, and the other's really the writer. Um, so they have a pretty interesting background, and this book uh, has a very interesting premise. It's, it's all about the algorithms that define human decisions and the, the really the way we act and the problems we face in our daily lives. So I really enjoyed this book. Uh, it really surprised me. Uh, the, the subject matter has the potential to be kind of boring. Um, when I read this book, I was reading books on actual computer algorithms, like very technical books. So I was ready to be, I was ready to read something that was going to be complicated and really get into the weeds. And this book really didn't get into any of that, though there is some weeds in the notes in the back of the book. So the book's pretty short. It's only 260 pages of normal writing. And then at the back of the book, there's 50 pages of notes. And that's kind of where they put all the details in. The actual just main chunk of the book is pretty smooth and very engaging, very light. Uh, the book is sorted by algorithm type. So there are these families of algorithms in computer science. And they all solve similar problems. One type of algorithm family is called Explore Exploit. It's where... There's a bunch of resources out there and you don't know what's available, uh, what the differences are between them, but you know you need to go out and find a resource and exploit it for some amount of time. So if you're trying to maximize the value you get out of a resource for any given time period, you have to split your time up between exploring what resources are out there and then actually exploiting the resource to get value from it. And a perfect example of this type of problem in your real life is marriage. So in marriage, you have to spend some time meeting people and figuring out who you get along with, then dating. And then after that, you get married and then you have a life and you have a relationship and you extract value from that over the length of that relationship. So there's a, there's a real science behind how to make these types of decisions. And the book gets into that. Uh, but that's just one section. There's a lot more types of algorithms and it's really interesting. It really blends this, the math and the science and the algorithms with decision making and how they're solved. And it's really engaging. It's really fun, a really a fun book to read. Um, I was surprised by a couple things primarily. One was what I mentioned earlier, which is just how lively and enjoyable the book is. It, it could have been so dull and dense and detailed. And that would have been that that could have been a good book, but this is really for a very general audience, and it's it's really entertaining and engaging, and it never sticks on any topic long enough to get dull. It just jumps to the next thing, and it, it really it keeps your attention the whole time. And I don't think anyone would have any problem, um, really just grasping the material. The second thing I got out of the book that, or second thing I was surprised by, was how practical the book was. I thought it was really just going to be like a lot of science books, they just kind of explain what's out there or what we know or how we use science to solve problems. But this book really had a lot of practical takeaways and I didn't expect that at all. I didn't think it was going to be a book that there'd be information in it that you could take into your, your daily life and, and make decisions better. But there there's a lot of this book where it really does show you how the algorithms say the most, or let me restate that, it goes in and it shows you how algorithms have found optimal strategies for certain types of problems. So I would definitely recommend this book. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was practical. Um, I, I had a lot of fun reading the book. And I think I would recommend it for pretty much everyone 
that's out there. I mean, even if you're not into nonfiction books, this could still be a really interesting book to read. There's a lot of practical things. It's very enjoyable. It'll really open up a topic that um, is very important to our daily lives, at least in the technology we use. So it's, it's interesting to kind of get a view into the the math and the science behind some of this stuff. And, and really, it, it's written for a very general audience. If you're not a general audience, if you want more detail, you have to pick up the physical copy because the notes in the back will get into the detail. The audiobook doesn't get into any of the notes. So if you read that, you're just going to get the the kind of general audience view of things. But yeah, if you want to know more details, definitely pick up the physical book. But I would definitely recommend getting this book. Uh, I loved it. So um, like, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I know I've been saying it, but I'll have a new studio soon. And hopefully my old microphone will be back to working in the next video as well. So thanks.